So we'll look ahead to the men's K1 1000 metres. Really looking forward to this. And some great world champions in the past, the likes of Botton Storz from Hungary in the 90s, and Lutz Lewalski. Marth Kasoskisen from Sweden, who's here supporting and coaching the Swedish team. He was world champion back in 2006. Britain 13, 14, and 15. In fact, 2015, he was the world champion in both 1,000 and 500. He's in lane eight, and Bojan Zdela, fresh from fourth place in the under-23 world championships recently, is in lane nine at the bottom of your picture. So this is 1,000 metres. Three and a half minutes or so of racing. It's the endurance event. You can see from the waves there, it's quite blustery at the top end of the course. And there'll be different race plans unfold. You can see right in the middle of your picture there in lane six, Ali Urania really just taking it easy over the first 200 metres. He's going to struggle to let, get back onto, on terms with that. Lane seven there, young Martin Hiller now. Germany, as I said, with Lutz Lewowski, Max Hoff, they've had such great paddlers in this event in the past, and maybe, just maybe, they've found another one with Martin Hiller. Of course, Jakob Schoff was fourth at the Olympic Games in the K1 and a medalist in the K2. So Germany have some really great paddlers in the K1, 1,000 metres. And going out for an early lead, I must say it's not altogether a huge surprise, is Fernando Pimenta, that's the way he races. It worked for him back in 2018 when he won the World Championships. It's worked for him several times as European champion. And he picked up the bronze medal with a great finish in the Olympic Games. And I think he was pleased with that after the season it's been, after the expectation that he has on his broad shoulders, he really delivered well with the bronze medal and was put under huge pressure at Tokyo by Jakob Schopf, in fact, the German, who almost stole the bronze medal from him. But Pimenta was strong enough and experienced to hold on. So we go through the middle point, 1.39. That's a quick time there. Just stalking Pimenta, you can see, to his left is Balint Kopash as they go out of pitcher. Those two battling it out for the first place. And Martin Hiller, the German, the best of the rest in third. Not far behind Martin Hiller, of course, you've got Rene Paulson, the Dane, will be looking just a feast on the scraps, perhaps, towards the end of this race. He's in lane eight, and also Ali Urania in lane six, who got away to a very slow start. He's picking it up now as we get close to the final quarter of the race. We'll see that. They're just getting to the 250 mark now. This quite often is where we'll see the paddlers pick it up. Similar conditions, in fact, to Tokyo, where Balint Kopash in pitcher there took a dominant win. And the upright figure of Pimenta in that familiar red cap, you can see, is leading this one. He's got a comfortable lead over Kopash. And now we get to the final 200 metres. Kopash really needs to put his foot down to the floor because there is not a lot of time left, less than 200 metres to go. It's going to be very difficult for anyone to overcome the former world champion from 2018, the incredibly popular guy, Fernando Pimenta. But if anyone can, the fast-finishing Balint Kopash can, and he's coming at Pimenta now. But has he got enough? He may well run out of water. There's 50 metres to go now. That familiar swinging style of Balint Kopash that works so well for him. He's eating into Pimenta's lead, but Pimenta has enough. The final 15 strokes over the line now. It's going to be Fernando Pimenta, who takes the win once again. A gold medal from the World Championships to go along his side, his gold medal from the World Championships in 2018, and his bronze medal from the Olympic Games. And Ali Urania, well, he takes the bronze medal here at the World Championships in Denmark. He's been there or thereabouts, Ali Urania, for such a long time. Bronze medals back in 2010 when Max Hoff won. So 11 years ago, Ali Urania took a bronze medal. He does it once again here. He's been there or thereabouts in this sport for so long. Fernando Pimenta, though, is the number one at the World Championships. A great servant for the sport. Has driven